Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this Cocho pattern. This pattern reminds me of butterfly wings and transformation. Butterflies start out as these little caterpillars and they go through this crazy, dark, miraculous experience in this little cocoon and then they emerge out the other side a totally different creature. Just like that transformation process, this shawl starts out as one color and then here in the middle, it bounces back and forth between the colors and then boom, just like a butterfly, it comes out the other end and it is a different color. This shawl pattern is so easily adjustable because it just uses basic knit stitches. And I would say it is great for the adventurous beginner. If you know how to work basic knit stitches and you've got a couple of projects under your belt, you will be golden on this one. We even have instructions in the PDF pattern for you on how to adjust the size of this. And I think this would be a perfect gift for just about anybody. So the yarn we use for this project is our luscious and supremely delicious Oasis Camel Silk Fingering Weight. It puddles and it ripples and it shimmers just like the moon on Midnight Lake. It is so popular and I love it so much. We also have another version in our bouncy resilient sock yarn which is also a fingering weight yarn and as a matter of fact you could use any of our fingering weight yarns to make this pattern. So grab some yarn, grab some needles and let's go ahead and jump in head first. If you would love to follow along you can download the PDF at expressionfiberarts.com and we're also going to put the direct link in the description box for you. We're going to go ahead and get started by casting on five stitches and this is going to put us at the start of one of the wings. Now we're going to work row one and this row has increases so that our wing starts to get bigger. For row one you're going to start with a knit one then we're going to work an increase by working knit one front and back. So knit the next stitch, but leave it on your left needle, swing around to the back and also knit into the back of it. So we've increased one stitch, then you're gonna slide that off and you're gonna knit across your row till you have two stitches left and we have two stitches left already. When you have two stitches, you are going to increase again by working a knit front and back just like we did at the start of the row. So we've turned one stitch into two, and then you're gonna knit that final stitch. And there you go. Rows two through four, you're just gonna knit every stitch. For row two, you're just gonna knit every stitch across your row. And the same applies for rows three and four. Now you're gonna work rows one through four 37 times, which is gonna put you right here where you finished your first wing and you're starting to work on the body. For the body, you've got two different sections and each section actually just consists of one repeating row. So let me show you how to work the row for section A. So here's the row you're gonna repeat for section A of the body. You're gonna start by knitting seven. One, two, three, four five, six, and seven. Now we've got a repeating part. So to work that, you're going to knit one, then yarn over, knit two together, and we're gonna do that twice. Yarn over, knit two together. Now you're gonna work knit 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're going to repeat that across your row depending on how wide you've chosen to make yours. When you do get to the end, you're going to finish with a knit one. Then you're going to work yarn over, knit two together twice. Yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, then you're gonna finish off by knitting seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here's how you work the row for section B. Here's the row you're gonna repeat for section B of the body. You're gonna start with a knit three. One, two, three. Then you're gonna yarn over, 
knit two together twice, so there's once, yarn over, knit two together. Now you've got a repeating section, so you're going to knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six, work a yarn over, then knit two together, then a yarn over, knit two together. Now you're going to knit one, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. So you're going to repeat that across your row. When you do get to the end, you're going to finish off with a knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then work a yarn over, knit two together twice. Yarn over, knit two together. And then finally, a knit two. One and two. Once you've repeated those sections across your shawl, you're now going to start the decreases for your second wing. In order to do that, you begin with rows one and two, and those are really easy. You just knit every stitch for those rows. To start your wing decreases, you're just going to begin rows one and two by working knit stitches. For row three, we're going to work some decreases. For row three, you're going to start with a knit one, and then we work a decrease by working a slip slip knit. Slip the next stitch, slip the next stitch, and then knit those two together. Now you're going to knit every stitch across your row until you have three stitches left. When you have three stitches left on your row, we're going to work another decrease by working a knit two together. So just knit those next two stitches together and then finish off that row with a knit one. So we've decreased two stitches on this row. For row four, you're just going to knit every stitch across the row. And so you work rows one through four 37 times to finish off your shawl, and then you're going to bind off and you are done. So happy knitting today. And just a reminder, whenever it feels like the world is dark and you'll never see the light again, just know you may be in a cocoon and this time will pass, the light will shine again, and you will emerge out the other side brighter, more beautiful, and stronger than before. So enjoy this beautiful day and comment and let us know what colors you would love to see this pattern made with. I will see you next week. Bye! What's that? The whole video is about butterflies. I actually didn't plan that. And I think this pattern would just be an aisle. And I think this pattern would be an aisle. And I think this pattern would be an ideal gift for just about anybody. Nailed it! So happy knitting today. Know that if you're, just know you may be in a cocoon. The light will shine again and you will emerge out the other side, brighter, more beautiful, and stronger than before. So don't forget it. Yes! Bye! Do 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 do